Hi there folks, I'm Brian Alcorn and to tell you a bit about myself, I'm 20 years old and I study audio production at the University of Lincoln um, It's through this course that I have come to meet um, Mr David McSherry, one of my lecturers um, and he's a great guy who, along with his fiance Thurza they would like to have their wedding guests, which is yourselves donate towards me to use for the benefit of the elderly in Uganda, which is what I have dreams and hopes and aspirations um, to do in the future. Um, basically, I spent five five months of my gap year um, in Uganda doing voluntary work, mostly with kids, primarily in Kampala, the capital city, um, but other places as well. And long story short, since I came home and was thinking back over my time there, my experiences what I saw, what I worked with, um, I really felt that there was a huge oversight in terms of aid and support for the elderly in Uganda. Um, and the average life expectancy in Uganda, I think, is around 48, 50, which is very, very young. I think that sort of rules both my parents out, for example. Put it in perspective, um, in contrast with the UK, where life expectancy, life expectancy is around 80 years old, and there's no government scheme or government support system in place in Uganda. There's very little char charitable work that sort of specifically is geared towards the elderly. Um, I've struggled to find any in my research online. Um, and there's certainly no old folks home, which is something I'd like to implement. Um, although there is a sort of culture in Africa of families sticking together to support um, each other, especially the elderly. Um, if you're an old person that has no family, if you never married, if you never had kids, um, then you're left on your own, really, um, all on your Todd. So it's those people specifically, <coughs> pardon me, that I would like to uh, gather together in a safe environment in an old folks' home, um, where there'll be someone there at all times to watch over them, to um, support them emotionally, physically, medically. Um, I do have some contacts in Uganda who um, are in the medical trade, um, and I'm sure they'll be very keen to partner with me in this. Um, got a little list of things to talk about. Um, short term aims, really, if I'm honest, I don't really know very much about what I'm going to do when I return to Uganda this, this year in June. I'm bringing a, a good friend from back home who I went to school with, Peter Lockery, who studies primary teaching at uni. Um, he's going to be doing sort of work experience placement type thing out there, which I'm sure will probably blow his mind, but he'll love it. Um, I'm confident of that. But as for myself, I'm really using this trip to find some answers to questions I've been having and um, to see whether there'll be work for me perhaps in the future to support myself. Ideally, I'd love to live out there, um, which is a sort of big commitment, I suppose, but I'm, I'm keen. Um, further, I'd like to see how feasible and practical it is to... Oh, sorry, there's my phone. I'd like to see how feasible and practical it is to uh, set up some sort of project or, or organisation or charity um, to, to benefit the old people. I'd love to um, help them to help themselves. There's an old African proverb, teach a man to fish and you'll eat the rest of his life, but if you give a man a fish, he'll only eat for one day. Um, and that's really something that, that I sort of would like to adopt. I believe in helping people to, to help themselves, create them, create self-sufficiency for them. Um, and that can be as simple as giving them a couple of chickens, which they can then sell the eggs from in order to make a small bit of income for themselves and um, that's something I'd like to initiate, something as simple as that um, which doesn't take much work for these old people who are often weak or sick or you know they, they don't really have the strength or energy a lot of these old people are also caring for their grandchildren the parents have maybe died um, through the, the civil war that's been going on in the north of the country or perhaps through HIV and AIDS or other diseases such as uh, dysentery or polio or malaria is another big problem um, and for these old people I'd like to provide some support um, as well and make, make life easier for them so they're not really struggling too hard and putting themselves um, through strain and stress trying to care for these children and um, I'd like to ease that burden for them. Um, I'd just like to assure you as well at this point that any money that's donated will be taken very good care of um, I am the treasurer for the University African Caribbean Society, so I do um, have experience in taking care of money that isn't mine, um, and I will assure you that I won't squander anything 
um, it'll be full transparency and accountability. Um, I'll keep you up to date on what I'm spending money on through this blog that David's put together. Um, and if you do have any questions at all, please, please do get in touch. I'll post some links on, on, the, on the video here as well. Um, thanks for your time. Thanks so much for donating. Um, you can't imagine how over the moon I was when David said that he and Thursa want to do this. Um, it's such an incredible thing. So thank you so much, David and Thursa. Thank you so much, you wonderful um, viewers, you wonderful donators. Um, please do dig deep. This is a great cause. I really hope you'll partner with me in this. Thanks a lot. God bless. Bye.